Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a review. Uh, this is gonna be almost a three year review of this uh, Oklahoma Joe's Longhorn uh, three in one combo smoker. So I'm actually smoking some, uh, some pork belly right now. And I've been in the house for about an hour just doing you know different things. And we can come out and we can see how the temperature is holding. So you can see I've dropped a little bit in the hour. Uh, I like to hold right around 225. Uh, between 200 and 250 is just about perfect. And so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna add some wood, but you can see how everything is looking. So uh, the grill is still holding together great. And I know that uh, you know this is a $650 grill now, unless you can find it on sale. When I bought it, I think I got it for uh, right around 350 or 400. With the way that everything is now, I know that that's not a reasonable price anymore, uh, unless you find one going on clearance or going, you know, it's uh, overstock or something like that, then you might be able to get one. But at $650, I just felt the need to let you know that I still think that that's a pretty good deal. Like I said, this is going on its third year and it's still hanging in there. All right, we don't have any major rust issues. You can see that spot that I had in my last video, it's taken nicely to the, uh, to the oil and things that I've been applying. Um, I've been noticing that this is starting to develop right up under here, but everything else got a little bit of rust developing in the back, but I'll just hit that with a wire brush, throw some oil on it the next time that I'm out here uh, cooking and that should seal it up nicely. Uh, looking underneath, right? This is where it all comes down to everything. Underneath everything is still looking great. You can see I haven't cleaned this in a while. I need to clean it. But right over here in the firebox, got a little bit of surface rust, so I need to brush that. Uh, you notice I've got all these weird little marks all over it, right? I've got some over here. And that's from my Strike Anywhere matches because my igniter has stopped. So uh, that's really my only complaint right now is that my igniter stopped. Uh, you can see on my gas side, I just got done cooking some uh, some burgers and melted some cheese. So I've got some melted cheese on there that I need to clean off. Uh, but the burners, the the grates, everything is still holding in there. It cleans up nicely, I, I promise. I just haven't had a chance to get in there and do that. But I know somebody's going to complain, but they're like, oh, you need to take care of that thing. But look, going on three years, the only thing that has happened is this igniter is no longer working. Um, my seals, I'm going to go through this year and redo my seals. You can find those down in the description, but you can see up here, they're starting to peel, right? Come off. And uh, they've held in there quite a bit. You can see my pork belly over here, right? Looks delicious. Get in there, I got about another hour. I'm actually gonna make some, some pork belly tacos. And uh, so I got those all seasoned up. I, I did a dry rub and things uh, for uh, almost like a pastor, right? Pork, uh, but like a pastor taco type deal. And uh, I think it's gonna be delicious. So here's the fire. So here's the firebox now, let's take a look at that. So you can see I'm just barely smoking in there, holding that temperature with just one stick, just kind of burning. Right, and I'm just gonna hold that open for a little bit, let that light because my temperature is dropping. I caught it at just the right time, I think. So I'm gonna try to pull that back up until about the 225 mark. Um, hopefully we can get that going. So there's just your uh, your quick review. Like I said, we're going on three years, no major rust issues. Um, I do keep mine under a cover. So if you wanna check that cover out, that is also down in my description. Uh, I recommend everybody keeping theirs under a cover. And like I said, every once in a while I get out here and I just scrub it down really good. Give it a good wipe down. Uh, give it a spray with some oil, maybe put some, uh, some you know, cooking oil on a rag. And then I just go down and I just wipe everything down. It seems to be doing the trick. We are here in California and we don't have the big crazy weather swings and, and temperatures that everybody else is having. We don't have like snow. Uh, we don't get a ton of rain, but it's still hanging in there. And I think that it's still a good grill, a decent, I would buy it again. So I hope that helps you. Uh, it's not a long review, but uh, maybe this will encourage you to find one on sale. So there it is, we got it lit. So now I'm just gonna let that burn for a little bit, let that get nice and, you know, nice and charred, and then I'll, I'll close it back down again. But this should bring the temperature right back up. And, uh, you know, this is kind of my fault. I wouldn't really put this on the grill, but this is a small box, you know, offset cooker. So it doesn't exactly, you know, regulate everything as evenly as some of the larger ones. It's also about a third the price of some of those really nice offset smokers. And uh, it does everything I need it to do. So when this one does wear out, maybe I will invest the money, but you can take a look at it, right? It's still hanging in there. 
So this is an issue every, every time I spray it off, right? And I get this back in here. It does go away, you know, within a day or so. Uh, and I haven't had much issues, but uh, you know, these aren't exactly as sealed as they could be, but they do sell new ones of those. So you could take a look at it again. Do I think it's worth $650? Uh, that's just kind of hard for me to wrap my head around because uh, at the time, like $650 would have got me a really nice, uh, you know, full offset smoker. But now those offset smokers are, you know, $1,500, $1,800. And so this one's still, you know, half that or a third of that price. And I still think in this market and this economy that it's a good deal. So if this review helped you, make sure you hit that like button. And uh, if you're new to the channel and you haven't done so yet, make sure you subscribe for some more of the things. I do a lot of fishing, do a lot of camping, do a lot of hiking. And uh, make sure you check that out. All right, everyone. I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching. And if you want this recipe, just let me know. I'll put it down in the description.